Good evening. It's uh, September 14th, Thursday night football here. Because we don't have refs, enough refs to go around on Friday nights, Concord uh, Crimson Tide in their uh, home red crimson uniform is playing the uh, Salem Blue Devils. There we go. Here comes the Concord team. We got uh, quite a few cameras set up here today. We got Friday night lights here and a few others. And we have a new cameraman here, Jake Dussault. So he's a Concord High grad and played, played football, so he knows the game well. Well, I, uh, I didn't see any cars on the street, and I thought, wow, Thursday night, not going to be a great turnout. And then I pulled in the parking lot, and there was no parking spaces. Yeah. But it, uh, so far, the stands are fairly empty, so we'll, well, we'll see what have happens, to see yeah. what uh, what the crowd brings. Thursday night, yeah. not the greatest night, because people do have to work tomorrow. But my anyway. my hand up included. But uh, yeah, as as do I. But Charlie Russell for Concord TV, in case you don't know, and uh, what's that other guy's name? Peter Burgess, I think. Yeah. How many years we've been doing this, Peter? Too many. Well, we've been doing 20, but I don't think we've been doing football 20. No. But anyway, well, I was looking at the records here. Salem was 2-8 and eight last year, so they're uh, looking to move up. They're 2-0 and oh so far this year. They uh, beat the pants off of uh, West, Manchester West, who's been down and actually in Division Two for a while, coming back up. And they played Keene, and they beat Keene 17-14. to 14. Concord lost to... Londonderry, who was the first place team for most of the year last year and lost in the finals to uh, Bedford, but uh, Londonderry has most, if not all, of their team back. So Concord lost to them 41-14 to on Labor Day weekend. And then Concord, uh, we saw Concord play Rutland last year here and blew them out, I don't know, 35 to nothing, Rutland, Vermont. So this was Concord's year to go up to Rutland, and they won up there 41-6. to Concord had uh, more than uh, 400 uh, yards rushing. So we'll take a break here while we do the national anthem. So looks like, uh, looks like Salem might have a few more players over there than Concord does. I counted about 40 for Concord. Looks like... Uh, Salem's players are spread out a little further. Well, when I first came in, it looked like Concord wasn't very big. Yeah. But uh, then I look and maybe they are. So. Yeah, well, you know, I see some big guys down there. Well, I looked like Salem was bigger at first. And number then, uh, 58 looks like he's got some pretty good size. Have they got heights and weights on theirs? Yeah, there's a couple of guys. Uh, there's a guy that's 280 here, so there's some. Yeah, well. Oh, they don't. They did, they did the... Uh, they didn't do the rosters by numbers, so we got to go search for numbers, Peter. Huh? Well, they're yeah, they're here, but they're not in they're not in uh, not, not in, in order. Yeah, they they're start alf with alphabetical. Senior, they start with seniors and juniors, and is that how it goes? Home numbers. So anyway, we got Sophomore. the coin toss out there, Peter. Maybe you can give us the call on that. You and your uh, Binox always has a pretty good idea what's going on out there. Well, he's talking to Salem. And they've deferred. Yeah, it's deferred. So Salem doesn't want the ball. We'll see if Concord wants it. What do we get out there? So it looks like Concord's going to receive. And they'll be on the east. Which means Salem east will get side the, here. Salem will get the ball on the uh, ensuing kickoff on the second half. So it would just soon be underway here. We got a generous package of statistics from the uh, Salem Blue Devils here, and uh, their uh, I don't know if it's their team or team, but uh, there's been 36 games between these teams through the years, and guess what? 
they're 18 and 18 and <laughs> home and away they're nine and nine and uh, nine and nine away Salem has this is as a math major this is a man after my heart Salem has scored uh, average 17.16 points uh, at home and uh, 19 while away and uh, let's see they're allowed 17.6 at home and they've allowed 16.5 here so it looks like a 17 16 game although the uh, the union leader had it uh, 21 to 19 saying that both teams had some tremendous runners we know bahama bahuma is Concord's runner and see if i can dig out their man here well i'm sure we'll get his name real quick here well, these kicks on the 40, it should be pretty deep. Unless they do a surprise onside kick, which that does not happen. Feel it at the 15. Cutting it up the middle, breaks one tackle and down around the 38-yard line. 25-yard oh, return. Huh? For number 23. 25. 23, so Conkett starts but of out. Of course, it, that's uh, Jackson Borkish. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start out there. Where they spot it. It's like the 37, 38. I'll start. I think I'm going to have to take this roster home and retype it because this is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Well, it, 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 sh it shows it. Uh, yeah, Blue Devils, look at theirs. They got it numerically, so. That's the way it should be, but. And motion, rolling out. And Borkus drops, taken down hard after the play by number two, Callan Smith. So Salem brought, let's see, they got two or three buses out there. They got their spirit squad dressed in blue and they got uh, some fans in the stands, probably family members usually who come watch. It's like second and 11 here. Who's the quarterback? I had the wrong guy circled here. Or the wrong number. And a pitch. Number two. Seven. Seven. All right. Bahuma. Well, that's... Uh, Bahuma. Bahuma, okay. And number seven for them is their big runner. Kevin to disco so we'll be seeing lots of sevens here lucky seven we'll see who's the luckiest with it so who's the quarterback because I guess it's Colby Nyan yep it's on the second page well this will be a third and what six looks like so the senior is not the quarterback it's the it's the junior third and six here Concord in there for a series And the handoff again to Borkish, and he doesn't get far. Conquered will punt. Fourth and four looking like, fourth and fourth three. Fourth and three on the board. Conquered sends out the punting unit. is up. Fielded at the 20 and grabbed immediately and trickled up for six. So first down from the 26 yard line. Let's see what uh, Salem can do here. Now they say the 27. All right. 27. See what they can do here. Number seven is uh, Taylor. No, I'm sorry, Kevin Todisco. He's their big uh, runner. Although they get some other runners too. And he's got the ball and slices right through the line. First down. Gets 11. Left a huge chunk of sod about five yards back too, which just ripped up the turf. 
<laughs> yeah, field actually looks in pretty good shape here, Peter, doesn't it? No dirt spots. Uh, now, there was a, a lot of talk in the NFL after Aaron Rodgers got hurt about turf and how they want the uh, grass fields at the NFL. Yeah. I'm not, not sure how that would play out. I'm not sure his injury would have Made a difference. mattered either. And again, slicing through the defense and gets about five, four, maybe five. four. Yeah, well, I heard some commentary. They were talking about uh, World Cup soccer is coming and they have to play on grass fields. So they said maybe that's a way to shift over and not shift back. But uh, we'll see. I what think they should do a hybrid. But Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens here. So we got what? Second and second and six here? Second and five. And trying to push forward. It's a got couple a more. Couple more, yeah. Maybe three more. So we got the band here, full regalia, and got the spirit squad down there with their pom poms dancing away. Looks like people are bringing in hot dogs to the stands too, so we probably got those yeah. pizza and hot dogs down around the corner for the halftime. What do we got here? <laughs> what do we got here? Third and uh, third and two here. And Roll running off. to the outside, plenty of room. And out of bounds past the 40. You got about so right at the 40. Oh, got about a where dozen. are going to mark it? Got Maybe about prior a to the 40. Quarterback rolls out left. <coughs> Everybody's in tight looking for up 42. the middle. So that's the uh, second first down. Quickly to the line. Oh, oh, wow. That was an interesting handoff and right up the middle. And almost inside the red zone. So Salem uh, showing their stuff here. They started out on the uh, 27, so they're gone, what, 23, 33, 43? That looked like before Tedisco... Uh, I think that was handed off to the first guy, and then he handed it to Tedisco. Yeah. That's what it looked like anyway through my binoculars. I don't know yeah. if it was just sleight of hand or what, but oh, Conkett snuffs that one out as he tries to climb right up the middle, number five, Taylor Walton. Second and 10 from the 24 and just under eight minutes in the first. Salem had been rushing up to the line, but they take their time on this play. You wonder where the... Stand on the ground, no passing yet. And the handoff to the disco. To the outside and he lost the ball out of bounds. I could get about eight or 10. Get the first down, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, first and goal as they drop the down markers. Chain gang taking a break. 7.32 to play in the first. No score, but Salem knocking on the door here. <coughs> He's and in. into the end zone number one, Felix Gonzalez. So they go. Nine yard touchdown. That's 73 yards in what, about eight plays? I didn't keep track of the number, seven, eight, nine plays. At, uh, what do we got, 726. And we'll find out if they have a kicker. Uh, Looks like they got a kicker. It's blocked. He missed it. It was yeah. short. Yeah, it looks like it might have been tipped at the line. I don't know. He didn't really get a lot of leg into that. It oh, was more of it. like a chip shot. Yeah. Like something you do on the edge of the green <laughs> from the rough. Yeah, well. 
So anyway, they head up field. Uh, they go 73 yards in, uh, I would say, 10 plays, all of them on the ground. See what Conkett can do. Yeah, no passing. And we'll look at their uh, package, their stat See, they package. Just, they look small out there right now. I mean, it is the special teams unit, but still, they look pretty small out there. Yeah. Maybe it's just the smaller, speedier guys out there for special teams. If Borkish is back there along with Bahuma and I can't see the other number. Four? And four. Four is going to receive it. Cuts it to the middle. The stiff arm taken down from behind. Oh, the right at the 20. And it starts up the middle and cuts left and unable to shake the uh, tackler. So they'll start out at uh, Brett, seven. Brett Tuttle with the carry. They'll start out their second series at the, uh, I think they got them at the 20, got them at the 24. Yeah. And the handoff to Bahuma, cuts it back towards the middle and taken down a, after a short gain. Just barely got past the line of scrimmage. Second and eight. Well, certainly uh, Salem, uh, knowing Bahum is their uh, big running man, is going to uh, key on him. <coughs> tested their lateral pursuit too much. Mostly right up the middle stuff here and crawling for a few more, maybe a yard or two shy of a first down. Yeah, it looks like it'll be third and, uh, third and two, third and two in there. We got the hurry up offense here, see what they're doing here. And Bahuma. And I not sure if maybe he not. Well, he's calling timeout, which usually signifies they got the first down. Yeah, there he I is. I don't know about yeah, that. He, that was a generous spot, Charlie. Yeah, well. <laughs> that he, was up around his shoulder. Hey, okay, Peter. <laughs> yeah, well, it was. That's uh, why they're paying those zebras the big bucks, Peter, and why we're up in the booth here volunteering because we love the game. I don't know, the Friday Night Lights guys. I was trying to see the replay. I was yeah. trying to see where the ball was, but. Well, first and ten. And the handoff to two. Gets, two gets three. Who's number two? Connor Hughes. So Conkett made the playoffs last year, lost in the first round. First time they had made the playoffs, probably in half a dozen years. This is Coach Corkum's third year, putting his new system in. And uh, and eight. There we go. Slicing through to the far side of the field, to the 40. Tripped up around the 35-yard line. Number eight. On a 25-yard, 24-yard run. Now the first down. Nathan Galbraith. Looked like it went uh, off, off a right tackle there. First big run for the Crimson Tide. So they've had a couple first downs on this drive. Clock approaching five minutes in the first. Six nothing in favor of Salem after the missed point after. And some razzle dazzle. Bahuma gets the ball. Bahuma, close, no. Right at the 29. Looks like it goes for six or eight, doesn't he? Looks like it'd be second and three. Uh, that would have been a seven yard run, I think, if it's at the 29. So it's second and three. Running, hurry up offense. And Bahuma again with first down yardage. Close and pushed back, but I believe he got the first down.
Third and inches. Now, I have a timeout measurement, huh? Well, it's close. Yeah. You can see the, fl the marker on the other side of the field. It's, it's close, but. Get a, get a zoom in on that spot there. Uh, they got a fairly clear shot of that. They got all the players out of the way. Concord's team ran over here to take advantage of it. And it looks like he got it, and he does. First down. There By the go. nose of the football, right around that white spot on the tip of the football. Yeah, well, they better hurry up and get out there. Well, they should be able to run right out without the huddle there if they huddle with the coach, but we'll see. Got the clock running on him. God. Clock is starting now. All right. Approaching four minutes. First and 10 from the 26. Galbraith in the backfield. Motion for Bahuma and he gets the ball. Galbraith with a block, Bahuma slicing through. Into the red zone around the 18 yard line. It's like good for what, seven or eight, seven? Uh, Looks like six. Six. Oh, don't they call it eight, really? No. Second and two. And off to Galbraith, breaks through right up the middle. He uh, inside the 10, huh? He was chugging through there and just kind of got tripped up a little bit. But if he didn't, I think he probably could have taken that all the way. Well, Conquer driving just, here, showing just there. Just as he, he got, oh, that was, a, that was an arm right across his face mask, but he still broke through that and then got an ankle tackle there. So first and goal from looks like about the seven or eight. Eight. And Bahuma jumps to the outside. And gets about half. Looks like he's down to the five. That plant foot and another big chunk of turf this time coming the other way. <laughs> They're ripping this field up early. Second and goal, six to go. Getting down to 220 left in the first quarter. And a little stutter move down to the one. Bahuma. Still not in. So third and goal. One yard. So Concord the other way against Salem. Salem with the touchdown with no passing and Concord back the other way with no passing. So we got third and one here, third and two. Quarterback and sneak and yep. he's in. Quick hitter, so Concord goes uh, 76 yards in, uh, we got 132 and about five. So Colby Nyan, touchdown run, one yard. And we'll see the all important uh, extra point. Well, here's that, uh, here's that shift play and we'll see what they can do here. Well, Nyan's the kicker also, so we'll see. Kick is high, kick is deep, kick is good. good. So Concord takes the lead, 7-6. So each team is uh, Concord's four, three and out in their first drive and then uh, puts it together and uh, as we said, no passing in this uh, down. It'll be a first, be a first quarter, a quick first quarter with all the run, huh? The only thing bad about this Thursday Night Lights is uh, I have Amazon Prime, and I was planning on watching the Eagles game tonight. But. Well, <laughs> well, we may get home early, Peter. Who knows? 
Well, with all this running, it's quite possible. There's only yeah. 132 left in the first. Yeah. McConkle will be kicking off for the uh, second time. We're only, here. what, 20 minutes into the game, so. Yep. 7.20 and a minute and a half left on the clock. Concord uh, huddling before the kickoff here. Salem got a couple people back at what, the 18, 20 yard line. I see the Spirit Squad's wearing Hawaiian lays. I don't know if that's because of the tragedy that happened in Hawaii or if that's just something they do. Field at the 15. Bunched up and running up the middle with blockers and hauled down at the 35-yard line. Almost like a flying wedge there. Yeah, there's three, like three blockers in like front of them. And four of them are <laughs> in a circle. Yeah, the kind of all ran up together. The outlawed flying wedge from years ago, huh? over a century ago. Well, starting out here, what, the 35-yard uh, line, Salem's uh, second series. Well, with all the emphasis, they try to take off the, you know, the punt returns and stuff in the NFL, and that's yeah. how the Jets won against Buffalo the other night. Yeah, that was quite the end. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, a pitch out and a juggle. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm sure the right in front of the Salem bench, I'm sure the coach's heart was in his mouth at that point watching his player juggle it. Well, he... To his defense, he stayed with it and was able to corral it. So he only got a he only got a yard, but yeah, well, we're under a minute here in the first. Just like they planned it in practice, Peter, huh? <laughs> well, I'm sure you have those types of drills. Oh, Conker trying to rip that ball out, and he only got another two. No, one and a half. It'll be third and eight, third and seven, huh? Seven. 35 seconds and clock moving. Well, we still so got a Concord crowd. with an opportunity here to. Still got the crowd filtering in here. Get them, at, deep, uh, get them to punt. I'm not deep. even sure if they're going to run a play. I think they have to. I think there was more than 35 seconds. So there's at least time for one more play. They might want to call a timeout, yeah, because they didn't <laughs> they didn't know what they were doing. They, they were pointing everywhere and they were lining up wrong and this nine point nine seconds on wasted, the clock and waste of timeout, huh? Well, well I mean, it's third and seven and you don't want to delay a game and I think it was quickly approaching and they were didn't know that didn't look like everybody knew yeah. everybody's on the same page and knew what the play was. Well. So. We got Friday night lights in front of us, and we actually three or four cameras out here today uh, on these games. Well, that's them. They have they have a lot of cameras. Yeah. Uh, on the thurs Thursday night, uh, I think this is Concord's only Thursday night game. We're going to be doing three more for Concord. A Saturday homecoming, I think, in uh, two weeks and two days. So let's. Yeah. What's yeah. that? It's definitely abnormal. Yeah. Be playing on a Thursday as opposed to yeah. Well, I mean, what I heard, I think, was they're down 40 refs or something like that. I mean, it's yeah. quite a quite a large number of refs that are so down. Anyway, and third and seven. Concord looking to hold them here. Looked like they're still confused. Got the player on the wrong side. They here. didn't want to cut the number of refs on the field per game. So that's why they're doing this. Yeah, and the first, first down. Thing. He gets it. I don't know what they pay right now. I think a few years ago it was $75 a game. Yeah, it might be up, it's up probably more. higher than that now, but. No, they didn't get the first down, fourth and uh, one. Oh, he must have stepped out of bounds. Fourth and one. Let's see if they're gonna do the hard count here or what? Oh, are they running, they're, they're running it. Yeah, looks and like they're they got pushing it. the pile. Looks like they got it, huh? Looks like they got three. 
Yeah, well, I had a discussion with some uh, refs that have been doing it for years, and he said, you know, that a lot of the fans, a lot of the parents have been really pretty brutal, and there's been incidents reported, and so. Well, that's, that's what I actually said to somebody the other day when, when I was talking. I was like, so that's so that's I'm the sure they get a significant amount of grief, you know. And yeah, well, that's is, it. Is seventy-five to hundred dollars worth it? <laughs> so that's the quarter. We'll take a break on that. We're back. We're back for the uh, second quarter. They've uh, exchanged ends, and we're going to get that first and ten. So. Well, that was an opportunity for the Crimson Tide to force a punt, but oh. first set of downs. Cutting it to the outside, and looks like first down run of at least 10 yards. Number one, Felix Gonzalez. I move those chains again. You know, interestingly, Conkin's a defensive guy uh, was about half a stride from picking off that pitch out. Could have walked right in, so. I always wondered why the band never played Back on the Chain Gang. It's yeah. a perfect song to play yeah, when the chains well. are moving. Or oh, another. No. Oh, it looked like a bad handoff, but it went to number seven. Didn't go very far. Yeah, they're quick. They're pretty slick here. i glad we got a good cameraman can follow those uh, plays here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, you, you you played the game, so you know the sport. And uh, I may have been in that zone at some point. Oh, was that first pass. pass. What are we gonna do? Oh, he was hit, and way out of bounds. So incomplete on the first pass of the game <laughs> for Salem. Yeah, it took. Uh, I don't think no. Concord was faked out by that. I guess no. The clock is running. Why so. is the clock running? Was it completed? It was complete. It was? Yeah, I guess so. They moved it. I thought it, it went out of bounds. I think he, I think he caught Maybe it. Maybe he caught it and went out of bounds. Well. I don't know. Third and six. I should have looked down at the mm. Friday Night Lights replay. <laughs> and the handoff. Coming to the near side. And taken out of bounds at the 20. That's uh, Kevin Tedisco again. So Concord had an opportunity to stop him. Well, he's... Uh, and now... Prior two games... We're one yard away from... Red zone territory. Prior two games, he had 24 carries and uh, 201 yards. So that's what, about eight yards a carry, I guess, if I do the math quick in my head. Back to pass, rolling out. Oh, out of the grasp of one. Pass, receptions made. He was down, though. You don't have to. I don't know if he got the first down, though. It's close. It was about a 10 yard pass. Well, there's the first completion. We can look down at the replay down here. That was a nice pass, especially because he evaded the first yeah. defender there. And yeah, this screen has got, uh, so what do we got? Second and one at the, uh, where are they at? At the 12? Nolan Lum, is it Lumley? Is that how you say it? Yeah. And the handoff not going too far. Gets the first down though. Stop so the clock. I believe they'll drop the chains. Yep. First and goal. Side to ten, huh? They had to. So Salem driving again, this time with a couple of passes. One complete, one incomplete. Oh, actually, two complete, one incomplete. So two out of three, I guess. Motion. And a handoff up the middle. Concord yanks him back. Number one, Gonzalez. He gets about, what, three maybe? Looks like he's at the, about the six of the seven. 
calling it seven and uh, seven. Second. second and seven from the seven. <laughs> Sally so. sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> That's easier. <laughs> well, as I was saying, it it went from second and six, so I had to like improvise <laughs> because they changed their mind. <laughs> It said six on the board, and then the six changed right. to a seven, no, mid-sentence. Pitch to zero. Yeah, penalty. Oh, now, yeah, okay. Penalty flag went down. Must have been a uh, either a clip or a cut block, maybe. Well, he's... I wondered if when he turned the corner whether that was a questionable block. We can look at the replay down here, Peter, if those... Here we go. Well, you look at the replay. I'm looking at the ref. Holding on the offense. That's good. That's good. That was the that was the man turning the corner. So March, that's what ten yards, and they're out to the out to the, about the thirteen now, eleven, huh? See what they do here. It's on the eleven. Second and eleven. Five Get yard penalty. Replay the uh, replay the down, so it'll be second again. Let's see if they're going to pull out the passing offense again here, Peter. I don't know. Nope. Hand off to zero again. And wrapped up. Gets about half of it, doesn't he? Down to about the six. It'll be third and, third and six. Well, this drive started at their own 35, so that's uh, what I got 15? the 50-50 lady outside the, the window here. I'm going to flag her down while... <laughs> sure. Yeah, they got other people that are buying them now. Okay. And another razzle dazzle. That was. That's exactly what they do. They handed it to number seven, and he handed it off to number one. Yeah. So they are doing that. Oh, yeah. four, sorry. Is that, is that one or four? So what do we got? Fourth, oh, it is and one. fourth and three here. The way his shirt's crinkled up on his arm, it looks like it's a four, but it's a one. We got one right here below us. Too. Yeah, I know. 50 50. So we well, got fourth and three here, Peter. Oh. Fourth and three, see what they can do here. Concord looking to stop them. Back to pass, rolling it out. Concord chasing in the grass, uh, pushed out of bounds. Oh, That's a sack. Concord takes over That's on downs. Takes over on downs. Up here, up here, up here. Hey, tickets up here. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> they're busy. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Peter. Here. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. those hard-working parents out there selling those 50-50 tickets. Peter wants to help out and wants a share of that pot. Yeah, I haven't won any a share of any pot since the days when Concord and Brady would draw yeah. thousands of well, fans to the arena one, one of my, for hockey games. One of my, <laughs> I won twice in one year. One of my brothers. Yeah, it was pretty good, but that was the only year I ever won. <laughs> and then Charlie won a couple years Look, ago. There she goes. Hey, hey. Well, that's all right. Forget it. Well, one of my brother-in-law's brothers won the uh, pot at Fenway. They don't want my money. Which I guess is what five, ten thousand dollars when they do Sometimes that at Fenway. Sometimes it's more than that. I've seen it at thirty-five thousand. Oh, maybe. Before. Okay, it's but quite a won. quite a chunk of change. Yeah. Oh, well, you got a timeout here. You want to shut down and. About the 10, right? Is that where it started? Yeah, the 10. So they went uh, down. Concord, first and 10 from the 11-yard line on turnover on downs. Well, we got the band heading down for their halftime show. Concord with uh, 89 yards to go here. 
for the one point lead here halfway through the second quarter. Oh, weaving his way. And ripped down by the oh. flag coming in late. I didn't even, that's weird because when the flag came in, there were only Concord players over there. <laughs> but oh, it's why, they so, why are they so late in that flag? I don't know because there was no Salem players anywhere near well, there the when the flag came out. The same thing happened. Everybody was up, <laughs> up field. The same thing happened on the other side there when they assessed that. The, the holding was on turning the corner <laughs> and they threw the flag down later. Oh, well. So that's half the distance of the goal line, right? Started at the 11. No, Concord. Oh, Concord. I'm pretty sure it was, a con I'm pretty sure it was against Concord. Yeah, I'm sure. So they what? But why aren't they? So they had already moved up some, I guess. I don't know. Half Did the they call it after I don't know. the run? Why are they? Seemed awful late on that flag. But it's starting at first and 10 from the same down and distance. I don't get it. Spun down again, number two. So what is the... Uh, Hughes. What do they got on the down marker over there? Second down now? Second or third? What do they got up there? Third? No, second. Well, they have first down. That's definitely not first down, so they need to <laughs> fix that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. They have first down and three to go, and that's not right. What's it saying on the down marker over there? I can't read it on the far side the, uh, where the line is. I don't know, but whoever's running the clock's not paying attention. That had a two, so now it's, I believe now it's third down. Third and about two. Yes, it's third down. Yeah. Second, okay. They're, they're all confused over there on the clock. The, 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 whoever's running that clock Second down, is yeah. wrong. It's third down. Well, as long as we get it right, Peter, here. Third and one here. Third and one. Well, I hope the players know what down it is. Oh, it looks like a, he got it. Yeah, he's he's... Given the he's given the move the down markers so Conker gets a gets a first down here, holding a seven six lead. Uh, what? Just five minutes left in the second quarter. Salem, a good sports town. They've had some up and down years with uh, a lot of different clubs. She coming? She's coming over. And first, first down. down. Uh, set up as a pass play, and then he just broke around. Well, Conkett's uh, <laughs> second first down. Hey, look who's here. Yeah, we're trying to get your attention. <laughs> A radio? Oh, I don't know. It's not us. <laughs> well, anyway. All right. I wanted five, but I'll take ten. That's fine. Okay, if you got chain. <laughs> so for those of you watching the game here while we have this transaction here, it's uh, second, <laughs> second down and five. We were almost disappointed. Second down and five, and I just spent five bucks. How's that? Yeah, we were almost disappointed they had Thank forgotten you. us here. I was promised I have extra lucky tickets. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Second and five, man in motion. Pass over the middle. Oh, oh he caught it on the bounce. Beautiful. He stayed with it and tipped, in the, it and caught it. into Salem territory. Wow. He, it popped up off his chest, but he stayed with the play. Uh, Concord's, uh, Concord's first completed pass. Ball moves down. We're across midfield. Well, to first, the I thought it was going to be an interception. 45. Well, Concord mixed. One on the other. No, uh, he, had more than, he had more than two. Yes. Salem's had more than two. 
They've had, they've had, they two, had a 10 two, yard pass two and then they had a, and one incomplete. Yeah. Well, remember, I thought the one was incomplete and it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. So first and 10 at the but 40, on the turnover 45. on downs. Bahuma. Bahuma cutting it to the 40. That's five. Like gets to play from the sidelines. It's like second and uh, second and six here at the 41. 40 Under and a half. Under three minutes now to play. So time not an incredible factor right now, but starting to become a factor. And Bahuma breaking it up the middle. Down to the 25 yard line, another first down. Another 15 yards. Clock stops on the chains moving. Off tack, with off tack to left. To play in the first. He lined Half. up. He lined up in the looked like in the right slot and cut across down the line. Concord Ball. found some life here. Ball at the 25. Clock running, right? Yeah. Yeah. 2:25 left <coughs> in the half. First half. Big pile up and lost take, yardage on the play, I take, think. It take four four people to bring him down, huh? Up. Oh. Did they lose yardage or is it got a got a player down? Number seven. Oh, yeah. Bahuma, that's not good. That's I'm not out. good. Uh, we'll we'll take a break while they attend to that. Does that seem reasonable? Take uh, second and seven here. Second and six. Get the clock running yet? No, 2.03. Clock running again. Clock running, folks. Use your clock. No two-minute warning in this game. Third and, and seven. Third and, third and three. Third and four. Clock getting to Sorry. be a factor. They don't look like they're in a big rush to do too much. Oh, time for another timeout here, isn't it? No, they're not going to. No. I mean, it's third down, so they're thinking that... Well, they do have, I mean... Let's see what they do here. they got four to go. Nice. It's the first down. Uh, yes, first down. So Time this out. clock will stop to move the chains. It's not first and goal. They can still get another first down. Clock at 102. And the band is lining up on the other end of the field uh, for their halftime show. Wind the clock. And now here. it's timeout Crimson Tide. All right. So oh, anyway, so Concord will recap the first half here. Concord uh, was three and out uh, on the first set of downs, and uh, Salem took over, went 73 yards for a, a rushing touchdown, but missed the extra point. It was a and then Concord, nine yard run by number one, uh, Felix Gonzalez. And then Concord uh, on the second set went uh, 76 yards and did get the extra point. And that was a quarterback keeper on a one-yard touchdown. With 132 left. And then uh, Salem took the ball in the 35 and ate up a good portion of the second quarter, but uh, uh, was unable to punch it in here. It penalized in the last inside the 10 and then tried a pass play and couldn't get the pass off uh, as the quarterback ran out of bounds. So that's why we're at seven to six. Concord picked up this ball at their 11 yard line. They've gone what? 39, 49, 59, 69. They've gone about 79 yards here. They got about another dozen to go here. So first and 10 at the 13. 
And the handoff. Going nowhere. Galbraith. Second down, see if they hustle it up. We're down to 45 seconds left. Looks like it's past time here. They're what? Still outside the 10. 38 seconds, clock moving. Back to pass, rolling. Oh God, don't take the sack, what are you doing? Oh, and a late hit at the end. That's gonna be a penalty. That's gonna be a personal foul. That's gonna put the Crimson Tide in nice territory. Stop the clock. He came in and speared him with his helmet. That's gonna be a gonna half throw, the distance to the goal the penalty. In, so it'll go from the spot of the foul. That'll be what? Half the distance to the goal line. So that's a, what, the 25 well, They're now? talking about it, but. 25. He came in very late. So that'll get him down to 12 and a half. Gonna go tell him and throw the guy out. Do you, th do you think they'll throw him out? I don't know. I think throw him so. Out. Well, we'll see. That's why he's talking to him. Well, that has to be a personal foul penalty. No, well, I guess he's gonna explain it to him. There's no foul. Now we're at the 26. Gonna march it down to the 13. So uh, the sack uh, goes by the boards. And the clock is a big factor. I think Conkett has 22 another. 22 seconds. 22.3. I think Conkett has another timeout. Looks like this will be a pass play. Triple wing left. You watch. They sneak the big tight end out. Oh, oh nice catch. Diving into the end zone. Oh, is he down at the one or did he get in? No, they're going to give him a timeout. Timeout on the. Uh, well, they have to. No. It's going to spike it. Is he going to spike it? Yes. 12. At the one. Tough wow, I can't believe he didn't get in the end zone. Tough tough tackle by the uh, Salem player. Upended him and kept him from going in. So Concord with, let's see, they got any more timeouts? We got 11.7 .7 here. What do we got the ball spotted at here, Peter? One yard line, I guess. 11 seconds, 11.7. Well, here we go. And another quarterback keeper. No signal. Time out. He's in. Touchdown. Touchdown. With 5.8 seconds left, so Conkin goes 89 yards on. Was it a keeper or was that Galbraith that got in? I think it, I thought it's it was Galbraith, a keeper. Galbraith is celebrating, I don't know. Well, 89 yards. So Concord goes up. Uh, Look at the, uh, was it? 13 to seven. Oh, Gabe, Galbraith, I think, pushed him in. Yeah. 13 to seven, Concord with the uh, extra point here. Okay, we got a timeout from Salem, I guess. Salem looking to uh, get a kickoff, I guess, huh? Well, they'll. Concord has to kick the extra point, and then there'll be 5.8 yeah. seconds. I, I, I know, but. Yeah. Only if you try a two-point conversion. Because I don't think the clock doesn't move on a kick. So <clears throat> if they do a two-point, they can. up and good. Concord, so, Concord has a kicker. Nyan is responsible, if that was a quarterback sneak, which I believe it was, he's responsible for all 14 points of the Crimson Tide. Well, two two rushing touchdowns and two kicks well, <laughs> for the PATs. Hey, well, getting, the, <laughs> getting the job done. <coughs> so I got, you're right, clock did not run on the extra No, it point. doesn't unless you're running a two-point conversion up. I'm not no. even sure if it runs then, does it? I think it, well, because it counts as a, 
doesn't count as the kick, it counts as the play. But it's still a point after, and I don't, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look at the rule book. All right, it's been a while. I've been a little rest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's been a while it's since not, I was on the field. It's so. actually not something I generally pay attention to. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's the, it's the yeah. PAT, and you're really, you're not, you're not so, thinking about it so, unless. You know, so they anyway, need that. what's what's the strategy here on Concord? Uh, uh, Salem I has think some. Uh, you, you squib kick it or what? Probably, but I wouldn't kick it short. I mean, well, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't try to kick it off like the first line there. Well, I think it, I think you loop it over the first line. I think that's what you do. And you don't want to kick it out of bounds. Well, I know. But, but if you do that, you draw the penalty, and the it. I mean, they'd have to. They wouldn't well, we'll be able to return happens. it. We'll see what happens here, Peter. I mean, I worry with some of their scat backs. They're. Uh, I think they squib kick it. Well, yeah. He kicks it low. It's a line drive down to the 10. And they bunch formation in the middle. And he's down. That's it. Time expires in the first half, and the Crimson Tide are up 14 6. And we'll head into the locker room. And we'll be back after the break. <laughs>
back. Are we on? We're back on here. Start of the second half. Concord will be uh, Salem deferred in the first coin toss, meaning they will receive on the second half. I'm not sure they thought they would be down 14 to 6. Well, we'll see what happens here. So Concord, uh, big series, big defensive series coming up for Concord. See if any adjustments were made by either team. Salem with uh, two men deep back at the 15. Concord still huddling. So, fun prediction for you guys think going to win. 14 to 6. Well, the union leader said it was going to be 21 to 19. Concord was going to win. So, we're not far off here. I think Concord's going to score oh. two more touchdowns. Ooh, short kick. Field it at the 30. Yeah, well, that's, that's how they're. Uh, that's. That's how they're dealing with uh, that little flying wedge they put together, four guys in front of the runner. They said, we'll hit it to one of the blockers. Hey, there we go. Look at those cheerleaders, those athletic cheerleaders there, huh? Three stories high. So let's see, we're gonna start I hope out. that F-bomb wasn't picked up from the field to the microphones. Well, but I don't know. I heard it all the way up here. So. <laughs> So first and ten at the 35. Four. Four yards in a cloud of dust as we start yeah. the second half. A cloud, a cloud of turf, I guess, Peter. No clouds of dust here. I didn't see a chunk of turf that time. but Yeah, well, we've seen a few. But yeah, there's some big chunks out there already. A well, second and looks like five. And the handoff. Wrapped him up nicely. So Disco got nothing on that. that looks like it'll be third and uh, they moved, they lost yard. It's third and, third and six, I guess, huh? Third and six, we're gonna have a end around and here. The other try on the other side gets the first down and more. Runs into his own man, still pushing. Still pushing and down past the 40. 40 38, 39, so we went. Uh, that was a huge 20, run. That was like at least 20, 20, 20, 24, 25, I think. Six. 26. 26, 27 yards, yeah. Sweep around the right side. So their backs got good speed. Good speed, certainly, huh? So, first and 10 at the 39. And, oh, he fumbled. Oh, they. Oh, we got an offside here. We got a flag over here. That's too bad, because they did that thing where they handed off twice and he dropped the ball. Yeah, offside of. What do we got here? Illegal procedure. Back it up. Second and second and fifteen. First, first and, and 15. fifteen. First and fifteen. Replay the down. Yeah. And a pitch. He slips. He slips. Oh. He slips on his cut. Wonder if it's getting a little damp down there too, Peter, huh? Well, it's definitely cooling off. Yeah. Not cold enough for a jacket, but no, well, it's actually said. really nice right now. I mean, it's been, this September has actually been too hot, but yeah, well. it's going to gonna settle into the 70s, 59 currently. Yeah, not a good day to go surfing tomorrow, though, Peter, huh? Or oh, swimming, maybe surfing. I think that's if you Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, well, that's right. But We're they're, still they're actually closing down parts of Ar Arcadia. Um, they're not going to let people go. Yeah. So second and looks like 14, huh? Oh, he's on. Oh, yes, hit him, hit him, hit him. Come on. Come on, somebody tackle him. That's three, four. Really? That guy was 10 yards in the backfield, and he got a first down. I know what we're working on in practice. What's this that week, old? 
What's that old <laughs> sign you see along the uh, highway? Speed kills, and he certainly turned it on and got away from what and three? Somebody's three. hurt. Uh, it's him, three. number ten, the quarterback. Well, he got he got wrestled down, you know, grabbed like he was from behind and thrown well, down. Bohuma came out on that golf cart down there and got off that golf cart on crutches and has so, ice on his knee, so he's so, not returning to the game. Yeah, well. And now the quarterback is not limping, but he is going off the field because well, he, got he has to. Yeah, because they had an injury timeout. Yeah, he got thrown down pretty good. I mean, it was almost like a, somebody grabbed him from he behind. He has to go off for at least one play. Yeah. So That's ball. why I never like running quarterbacks. I guess they didn't get, what is it, third and one? They didn't get that first down, huh? Came, came pretty close. Third and one quarterback sneak, huh? What do you think? No. Yeah, he gets five. It's five. Plenty of room in the middle there. Yeah. Gonna bring that new quarterback in or I'm gonna let him sit out again. A ball at the, uh, what are we at, about the 25? He's coming back. 25, 26, 26, 25 yard line. He's back on the field, so he must be all right. Well, Conk needs to dig in their heels here. Nobody oh. in the backfield, though, so. Yeah, passing, looks uh, like passing. Now they're motion to Disco. Tripped him up, good Wrapped tackle. up nicely by number two. Yeah, doesn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. I Connor don't think Hughes. Loses three. So they throw three, three ends or receivers out here and uh, move the fourth receiver around on an end around, but using those receivers as blockers. We got second and 12. Just a different way to use your best runner. Yeah, second and 12. Gonna do the same thing, no? Oh, pass deep, almost intercepted. Yeah, that was Number a 25 reached up there and knocked it down. That's that uh, was a yeah. Find name? that name, Peter, huh? Name uh, that player. Borkish, Jackson Borkish. Yeah. Well, I thought I circled it. I was looking for my circles, and yeah. I didn't circle it. But senior. He was, he's on the first page here. He's third a senior. And third and 12 here. <coughs> well, Conkin digging in their heels. I think this is four down turf anyway, but uh, this stage of the game, they're not going to be punting it any deeper if you don't get it. Diving. Gets, gets about five, maybe four or five. That could be fourth and six or seven, maybe. He's still at the one yard. He's no, he didn't get it. Fourth and ten? Fourth and nine? Fourth and nine. <coughs> I'm sure they're going to go for it. They couldn't kick a PAT, so I don't think they're going to kick. Yeah. <laughs> Field goal. Well, and it, they're down 14 to six, so that's probably so not this, an option. We we mentioned this would be a big series uh, for Concord to uh, hold them on. And we got a timeout, Salem. Yeah, Salem realizes it's a big part of that as well. So, so this this drive started at the uh, 35, and they're down what to the uh, 35. Well, they had a couple big plays, big chunks of yardage there. Down to the but 25. really, the drive hasn't been spectacular other than that. No. So they got uh, 15, 25, 35, what about a 40-yard drive here, 41-yard drive. Come on, Charlie. Crimson, Tide. Hey, well. 
<laughs> well, they got some good athletes down there in that Spirit squad, high voices. Yeah, I, and, I, I could never do those flips yeah, and yeah, flips and, and whatever you want to call them. So anyway, so Salem. Back flips, front flips. So Salem at the uh, fourth and nine, the 24. They got to get down to the uh, 13. Big play here. See what happens. It's a pass, deep pass, nobody there. Nobody there. Going for the corner, going for the TD, so. I don't know if that's the call you want to make on fourth and nine. But no, I don't think so. I, I mean, he chucked that ball 25 yards. So they <laughs> there, go was to nobody, the 20. there was nobody there when he threw it, so. Yeah, well, he was throwing to a spot in a, a 15, so. Well, I think you got to make sure the guy's going to be at that spot. That's the problem. 41, Conkin takes. Well, I think the risk is that now you just gave Conquered the ball first and ten on the 24-yard line. And the last time you did that, you gave him first and ten on the 11-yard line, and they marched down the field and scored. So, so we'll see if Conquered's made any adjustments. This is their first series. So we got 626. So uh, Salem had the ball for almost half of the first qu uh, third quarter. Chucking it down the field. Oh, uh, picked off. That was ill-advised. Ball was short. Conquered Number receiver. Number two, Callan Smith with the interception. Conquered receiver went down on the grass, but the uh, Salem, and looks yeah. like he might have a shot at, and the Salem defender stepped in. Now Salem two will start out at the 45. So the defensive team gets to sit down for uh, one one down. Back out there. Looks like we got a guy over here with a cramp too. He's getting stretched out. I don't know yeah. if he's a starter, but probably. Another pitch and tripped, tripped up. up. Nice tackle. ankle tackle and oh, he's, oh, we got he's all right. pulling his sock up, I think. I mean, Conkin's on to that play. They've had some people in there actually uh, looking, <laughs> looking to grab that pitch. Waltz in. They're throwing that ball out, what, four or five yards. Well, just got to be careful you don't over-pursue. Second and eight, yeah. And the handoff straight up the gut. Ball loose, no. Number no. 26. First down. Daniel Hughes. Yeah, at the 26. At the uh, first and 34. 10, 5.30 on the clock in the third. So let's see uh, what Conka can do here. More running up the gut. Going back, looks Got like half he gets, of it. Yeah, looks like about four, I think, maybe five. No, oh, they pushed it even back. The guy on the the guy on the far side. No, it says second and seven. I think that's six. Yeah. That looks like second and six to me. But we'll see. And a pitch to the far side to zero. Well, I get him. Jordan uh, Zanini, Z-A-N-N-I-N-I, -N -N -I, Zanini. Gonna be third and, third and six, third and five, looks like. Twenty-six again, breaking tackles. He's a big boy. We don't have weights on Salem, but he's a pretty broad-shouldered individual. Yeah, first down, moves it down. It's uh, Daniel Hughes again. 
they're a little slow here. They have a delay a game, clock running. Yeah, they're gonna have to take a timeout, I bet you. I think he's a captain. They got a they got some of them that have a couple of asterisks next to their name. I might think those are the captains. Yeah. Pitch. Cuts it back to the middle Up, and gets holding, the first down. Uh, holding. Late uh, throw. Yep. Old so late the penalty. Hanky. Saw the holding. Holding. holding That's offense. it. Holds him on the cutback. That's good. That's that stopped one of their drives last time. Last one in the uh, first half. Third and 20, second and 20. It says first and 10, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know goes. who's running that clock, but touchdown. Wow. No, oh, him. no, he's down at the one. I thought he was in the end zone, but they call him down at the one. Yeah. So Salem knocking on the door here with three, uh, 313 left. They're on what? The what? They got them on the one. Oh yeah, you push them back, and then you give them all that space. Yeah. Oh. Didn't nope, get it. Didn't get it. Fake it up the middle, and they should pitch it. Yeah, well. He's in this time. Yeah. So, 14-12, question is whether they're gonna go for two or what? What do you think, Peter? I Open think you go for two tie. because you tie it up. obviously can't kick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and two will tie the game. All right. Big play coming up here. Ball at the, what, two and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Going for the tie. And they got Tedisco, and he'll take the ball. Oh, he was pushed back. Hit yeah. his own man. Ran into the back of number 52. And Concord stops him. Ran into his own man. So uh, uh, Concord didn't. He his own man did. <laughs> 12. So they go 45 yards on the uh, turnover on the interception. He bounced off that guy. <laughs> he bounced back. <laughs> yeah, he's too quick. Ran up his blockers back. Huh? So anyway, so Conker will be receiving here. The uh, pep squad and the band are uh, doing some You can see good, the replay down here. Good interaction. He uh, bounced off the back of his own guy. Yeah, yeah, there. This, I don't know if this screen down there is angled or it's just washed out. I think it's angled the wrong way, isn't it? A little bit of that. Could be washed out from the uh, lights here, too. So anyway, so Salem be kicking off. Uh, Conker with five men up front and three deep, three in the middle. Wonder if Salem's uh, probably gonna just kick it deep. Yeah. Let it go out of bounds. What are you doing? You should have let it go out of bounds. Would have been a penalty. Well, they got it to the 40, so 30, I guess. It would have been to the what, the 40? That was dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, the I mean, thrill. I mean, I guess when you're in the heat of battle there. Thrill of competition. Well, it could have bounced in, too. I mean, you know, the football's got some weird bounces. So, McConkey will start out here at uh, their, their second or third game of the season? Third. Third, third game of the season. Oh, 
Let's see uh, what the Crimson Tide can do. Uh, and it's a handoff. And it's Borkish pushed out of bounds after a gain of about three. One thing I could probably say right now is they're definitely going to have those in the practice drills this coming week. Yeah. It's catching those, or how not to catch those. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Second and six here. Concord uh, looking to respond to uh, Salem's touchdown. And the handoff. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard or two. A couple guys limping a little bit, including our quarterback. Yeah, Nyan. Colby Nyan. Looks like a little like he's a little ginger there on us. I guess he's all right. Nyan keeps it. No, I didn't get it. Fourth and about two, maybe. It's definitely punting territory. Yeah. Well, we well, hoops. And I am back to punt. This is the first first punt of the day, isn't it? No, second. They punt. Oh, wow. Wow. He got ups on that, huh? Actually turned out to be a good punt. That could have been bad. 38, yeah, we were talking about Man, that what's earlier. What's vertical? 12, pretty good. 32, oh 32. <laughs> out of 58. <laughs> well, we were talking about that earlier, remember? What, oh my three, God, four years ago? Oh, games that we've been to where... Real careful with those three, people. four years ago. So they're going to, they punted three and out, punt. We're starting out at the There was another team that Concord played that was doing it too, though. Who was? Oh yeah, they were both. That was like a year or two ago. Oh, more than if that, but no, against Con no the uh, Concord was doing it a few years back, but then they yeah, had another an opponent team that was doing it. A yeah, that's couple it. Years that's ago. it. Yeah. I think it was a Manchester team. That was the game nobody wanted to win, Peter. I think. Pitch. It's seven or eight. Number one, Gonzalez with the run. down to the last nine seconds of the third quarter. And a handoff to Gonzalez. Looks like he doesn't get and it. He did not get it. Gonzalez. Let's so we'll see. go to the fourth quarter. 14-12 with Salem driving here. We off? We off for the break? Down there, grandfather down there. Grandfather down there earlier. So, first and 10 at the 21. So a big down here. Second and seven, second and six, second and seven. Quick. Oh, 
pitch. Oh, he almost didn't get it. Good tackle. Good tackle. Yeah, he was off he got, to the races. He got more than the first. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, he was, it looks like he was off to more than just the first down there. Cool down out there, cool breeze coming in. Yeah, huh? it's supposed to be in the 40s tonight, I think. 47. High 40s, yeah. I Good. Think. Going nowhere. Good tackle. That's why I brought my windbreaker anyway. Yeah, I, well, I, I dug out the sweater for the first time this year. Windbreaker. It says 50, so and conquered tonight. So. Better than all that rain and humidity that we've had. I went to Boston last night and stood out in the rain for two hours in front of Fenway Park to go into the House of Blues to see Corey Taylor. Huh. And I had to buy a hoodie when I went in because it, so wet. I was so cold and soaking huh. wet. Third and five coming up here. Well, the Sox won the first game today. Uh, yeah, they were losing five to two last story, time. Story, story, uh, story hit a three-run homer in I think the eighth. And one five to three. They're in the fourth right now. They're right losing. now, who's ahead? Yanks. Yeah. The battle of the battle last, of the cellar dwellers. Last place. High and Bloom got fired today. Yeah, well, I thought he was going to last till the end of the season and maybe give him another, but... Oh, oh, another injury on the tide. Yeah, well, we'll take a break on that in injury uh, timeout. Yeah, number 62. And quickly, quickly pull a play there. Well, it's getting to that time in the game where. Second and eight at the 41. 9, 20 and counting in the yeah. game and people are starting to get tired and. Yeah. Well, it'll be and a My pull. prediction of Concord scoring twice is not gonna happen, I don't think. Unless they no. pick him off here and run it back for a touchdown. Yeah. That'd be good. Oh. Hit him. Doesn't get him. Doesn't get there. He's about th three to go, I think. Third and three. Third and three. Looks like a long three. Disco down to the 15. Third man through. I'm sorry, Hands 25. Off. Hands off to the third man. So Salem on the move here. Six gets the carry. It's uh, Daniel Hughes, who I believe is a captain. left in the game. Let's go with the motion up the middle to number five. Didn't get much. Kalen Walton. 
Concord will be at Central next week down in Manchester, 7 o'clock game. And in two weeks and two days on September 30th, Pinkin will come to town for a homecoming, a 1 o'clock game. October 6th, Alvarin comes to town, a Friday night game. And October 20th, Dover for a 7 o'clock game. So to this go, right up the middle, breaking tackles into the end zone, touchdown. Yep. Fourteen to eighteen now. Salem takes the lead with the PAT to come and see if they try to kick it this time. I mean they're already up four, so you don't need a two-point conversion. Doesn't really matter, I guess. So they go uh, 79 yards. And they will not here. kick it, they will go for it. Thrown. And it's good, so 20 to 14. 7.13 to play. When we head up field, we'll conk and huddles down below their return team. Let's we'll see what they can do here. What do we got? We got uh, 7.13 left, so time for a ground game, but some good need would need some good gainers there. They did try some pass, the A pass last time, but it was intercepted. Yeah, that one hurt. Yeah. That one hurt a lot. Yeah, I know one play. I mean, the defense was out there for. Well, you, you know, stopped them, and yeah, then you, you sit you down. You barely catch your breath. Get a throw mouthful one of pass water and give the ball away. But Conquer with three men deep, three in the middle. See what Salem's going to do. They probably ought to kick it deep if they're smart. It's another one that was going to go out of bounds. And he would have had better field position if he'd have let it go. <coughs> Out to the what, 32? Would have had it at the 40. 32. So Conkin's third possession of the second half. Starting out at the 30, huh? So 70 yards from pay dirt and 707 left in the game, so. Balls on the 30. Seven, seven points to uh, seven points to go ahead. No, not with plays like that. Well, Concord, Concord looking to get somebody to turn the corner. Lost and turn, the yard on the play. Turn it upfield. Conquered quickly up to the line. Barely back to the line of scrimmage, it's just one, maybe a yard. Third and nine, with six, 12 and counting. This reminds me of that drive the Patriots had where they just ran it into the middle a couple of times, and I was like, what are you doing? That was <laughs> last, last, last year. So no, last week. Uh. <laughs> Thrown. Incomplete. Too low. Just past the first down marker. So you have to go it. for it, I guess. Well, well, it like five minutes kick left, it. and you can't stop their running game. No, well, they kick it. Doesn't look like they're thinking it's a, well, they got one player back, I guess. I don't know. Let's see here. 
Oh snap, got it away. Down to the 30, settles at the 28. Salem's, Salem's fourth possession of the uh, second half. Scored on both of their, uh, three of their possessions. Disco gets 12. Clock. Clock will stops run on the when first town. Well, it will when they move the chains. I don't know why they're waiting to move the chains. They're like taking their sweet time. Clock going now. So Concord scores 14 in the first half, unable to do anything in the second half here. Fifty, Peter, huh? Not a lot of passing. Pretty quick game. Like uh, second and seven here. Oh. oh! I thought maybe the way they were moving, the ball might have come out, but it didn't. That could be third and three. Third and <coughs> Under four. four and a half to play. Third and three. Third and two. they get this, uh, I think your, most of your hope is gone. Third and two. The handoff to number zero, hit behind the line. Didn't get it. I'm gonna kick it away, it looks like. Well, that would be the smart thing to do, because if you don't get there. it, I don't see a kicker though. Well, I see him. Here he comes. Well, Concord hasn't had hasn't had much luck moving the ball. That's not a kicker. That's a lineman. Oh. Are they going to try it? Here we go. Looks like a kicker coming in there. Now they got two more players coming in. Two in, one out. No, well, I guess not. They're going to do a hard count here. Is that what they're going to do? They're going for it. They pitch. And they wide, they got it. Yeah. And that's pretty much gonna Fourth seal the and deal. Two. Well, and then we're down to what, three and a half minutes? 315 left. So the Union leader had it as a close game, and certainly it's uh, played out that way. You're gonna have to get a turnover here because they can't stop the run. Yeah. And there's another eight yards. Yeah. Well, we're down, what, 245. And it's just right now, a battle of attrition. Guys are tired, they're having a hard time getting up. It's the end of the game. And they lost their uh, Obama, Bahuma there. Yeah, uh, that, that didn't help either. Yeah, that was it. Well, they said it was going to be a battle between uh, the two big backs, and uh, I think Peter is right. It's going to be a battle of Yeah. Another first down. Uh, yeah, another first down. I mean, and right now, that's why I didn't want them to kick it away. That's why I wanted them to go for it because I didn't think that they could stop them. So Kevin Codisco, Tedesco, Tedesco is the. Uh, 
Salem's big runner, and uh, they said it was going to be a battle between him and Bahuma. And yeah, but ironically, he hasn't scored. He didn't score at all, did he? Well, he's he's put up quite a few yards. I can't tell you how many, but I don't know who got their other touchdown. Yeah. I stopped writing things down because you were. So Concord, <laughs> yeah. So Concord will be at uh, at Central next week. Uh, in two weeks and two days, they'll be uh, homecoming against Pinkerton. Always tough, Pinkerton. Pinkerton has traditionally made the playoffs regularly, but not really uh, been very successful in winning that championships. But here we get who else we got here? East Division. Now we want the Central well, Division. Personally, I didn't like the play calling on Concord's last offensive drive, and yeah. I don't know. First and ten. If you want to win, you got to play like you want to win. And we're coming up on two minutes left in the game. Hurts me watching them do that, Charlie. <laughs> Those backflips. <laughs> Second and ten here. Two minutes left, so they got what? Three plays? I mean, they could go four and out here. Quarterback keeper cuts it down the sideline to the ten, pushed out of bounds at the five. Yeah. Well, they got speed. I don't think there's any doubt that uh, Salem's speed certainly made the uh, difference in this game. Yeah, and they had the people going outside, and it wasn't just one person. It, uh, you know. Yeah, even when I was there, it was a, they were always known for speed. Yeah, that's it. So we got. To, yeah, we got 158 left, and uh, it's like Salem looking to pump, push it in. They're at the four-yard line. And pushed back. Didn't get it in. Number so zero barring a, So barring a Jordan's miracle finish here, Concord looks like they're going down to defeat, barring a fun fumble and a run back. Second and third. Second at second goal at the three yard line. If Salem is uh, how hungry Salem is here, doesn't look like they're in any slowdown here. Touchdown. Number five touchdown. It's, um, Salem, Taylor Walton. Salem goes up 26-14. So it was 26 the 14 with the PAT to come. I want to thank uh, Jake Dussault for uh, doing Yo Men camera work here. Look forward to work with him uh, in the future. And uh, we'll see you, uh, I guess, in a couple of weeks. I really appreciate your. Uh, hauling the equipment in after uh, 15, 20 years of doing that. It's uh, <laughs> nice to see somebody else can do it. Rolling it out and into the end zone. The two-point conversion is good. 28 to 14 yeah. with so 118 Con to play. So Conkett will, uh, Conkett will get to receive the kickoff. Down uh, two touchdowns, so. 
Unless you return the kick for a touchdown. Reminiscent of uh, the 1968 Harvard-Yale game that ended up a tie where just about the same amount of time left. Uh, Harvard scored uh, 16 points in the final couple minutes. They always call it a Harvard win. It ended up being a tie. Yeah, well, an awful lot of luck, too. A lot, a lot of luck here, so anyway. The two biggest games I remember, for college anyway, was Doug Flutie and then, Flutie's, the, yep. and then the infamous Christian Leitner. With like just a couple seconds left. Coming up, <laughs> like coming up for his 40, 40 years on that. Wasn't that like 1984 that happened? Or Christian Leitner? No, with... Uh, Oh, the Flutie? Yeah, Flutie. I was. Flutie to Phelan, right? Is that what his name? Phelan? One twelve left. Time for one of those uh, hook and ladder. I guess it's actually, it's hook and lateral. I was kind of thinking why it was a hook and ladder, but that's you run a hook pass and you lateral off to the uh, guy running by. Quarterback keeper, oh, and he's going to get killed. <coughs> to their credit, yeah. they did have a lot of running backs yeah. that were available. Yeah. Fifty fifty seconds left. Yeah, he uh, well, he got some yards, first down, but uh, too little, too late at this point. Forty three and counting. You need is a hard push. And the handoff. You got to get it out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Out of bounds. Clock stopped. <coughs> Thirty one seconds left. Orkish with the carry. 47 yards to go. Thirty-one seconds even. What are we waiting for here? It might have been. I think he has a chunk of turf in his helmet or something, and the ref's trying to. I don't know. Is it an equipment yeah, issue? It looks like he's trying to buckle his helmet back. It's an equipment issue. Yeah, that's what it was a buckle. Nice. Caught it. Going out. First down, yeah. Where was this offense uh, when we needed it here? Well, they're playing prevent right now. Yeah, well, they're playing back. Brett Tuttle with the reception. What we got here? 20 clock running, 25 seconds. He spikes it. Well, this is uh, this reminiscent of the, the Pats drive, isn't it here, huh? Pats had a drive like this near the end of the game. Moved it down, and the guy yeah, didn't get Yeah, but they had a chance to win, and Conklin yeah, doesn't. I know, I, I know, <laughs> but I mean, but moving it, but he didn't get his foot down. Now they're... And this is different, because they're just kind of sitting back. They're not... Yeah. It's... Well, he did get it out of bounds, I guess. First down, 17.3, huh? Spike it again, yeah. No, I think he got, oh no, he didn't get out of bounds. Yeah. So they do have to spike it. 13.9, uh, so where are they at? They're at the, what, the 15, 10 yard line, 18 yard line, huh?
You bet on this game in DraftKings? <laughs> I wonder if somebody's just trying to get some points to cover. <laughs> yeah. Rolling it out. Oh, oh he's going to don't get. Ah. That's it. Timeout. No timeout. Timeout. 3.8. Huh? I'm out, Conquered. Where are they at? Ten yard line? It has officially reached that temperature where I'm putting my jacket on. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you check? We got a timeout here. Why don't you check the uh, Red Sox score? Find out whether they're going to be two games up on the Yankees or tie for last place with them. Well, they still got, what, 14 games? It's yeah. five to four now in oh. the middle of the sixth. Oh, okay. What time we got here? Nine nine thirty ish. Is that what we're getting up to here? Nine oh four. Jesus, early quick Charlie game, Peter. Flip phone. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of low tech Charlie. I was just here. gonna call you low tech Charlie. Low tech Charlie. Yeah. Hey. So this is it. What are we at here? I've not had a phone that looked like that in fifteen years. Ten years. Hey, well, you know, hey. I don't know they still made those. Yeah, Did you well, get that at the thrift just store? Just barely, yeah, <laughs> just barely. Last play of the game, folks. Oh, intercepted. That's not a good way to end the game. Slant, I mean, look in pass. <laughs> That's it, folks. That was behind the receiver. And yeah, get that final score on camera for memory here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Careful, you're right on the edge. Your camera could go out the window. Yeah. So anyway, Concord loses 28 to 14, 14 points in the first half, and uh, I think he's figuring out how hard it is. Salem to get the focus. gets. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it was 14-6. Salem gets 22 in the second half. So we'll be back with a couple more games this year. Charlie Russell for Concord TV. Peter Burgess and Jake Dusso on camera. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.